Hello, I'm Delaware County Emergency Management Director John Catino. As we gear up for the total solar eclipse on Monday, April 8, 2024, everyone is excited and planning to view this once in a lifetime event. Here in Delaware County, we are just a day's drive away for 70% of the nation. We're expecting a wave of visitors from around the country and the world who are eager to witness this extraordinary celestial event. The path of totality will pass directly over our area, providing prime viewing opportunities. This event is like nothing else we have witnessed in our lifetimes here in Delaware County. Our community partners would like to spend a few minutes talking to you about staying safe during this incredible event. Hello, I'm Corey Kissick, Delaware County Emergency Management Deputy Director. The best way to plan for an event itself is to look back into the past. During the 2017 solar eclipse, many eager sky gazers faced unforeseen challenges. A five and a half hour trip from Columbus, Indiana to Hopkinsville, Kentucky took well over 17 and a half hours to just to get back home. A small town in Southern Illinois with only a population of 230 people increased well over 2,000 people. With the potential for well over 500,000 people flooding into Indiana, we need to be ready for some extreme traffic congestion. In Kentucky, during the 2017 event, some roads saw an over 200% increase in traffic with jams stretching for dozens of miles to the point where first responders had to walk several miles to get patient access. We anticipate the days leading up to the event, the eclipse itself, and the hours afterward will be the busiest to say the least. Slow emergency response times and the potential for overwhelmed services are a real possibility. We urge everyone to use extreme caution when traveling during this time period. Well, I'm Jeff Stanley, Chief Deputy with the Delaware County Sheriff's Office. Uh, it's one of the local emergency services we're trying to plan for April 8th, which is the total solar eclipse, which is gonna happen here in Delaware County. So how to be prepared in the rural areas. What we do not want you to do is just pull alongside of the road or in private property to watch the solar eclipse. We want you to plan, plan ahead, plan that it may take a little extra time to get to your destination. Uh, there could be several hundred, several thousand extra vehicles on the roads. Uh, going to Prairie Creek Reservoir, AMA, or the Delaware County Fairgrounds uh, in the city. So please, do not just pull over and watch this. Make sure that you're in the area that you're supposed to be. We wanna make sure that your car is gassed up in case there is a long extended period of time where you may be parked. And always please leave an open area or an open lane for emergency services. Uh, learning from other jurisdictions, one problem that they had was the roads were so congested that emergency services, meaning ambulances, fire trucks, or police vehicles, they could not get through the roadways to get to emergencies. We want you to enjoy your time while here in Delaware County, but please just do it safely and think ahead. Thank you. Hello, I'm Fred Cummings with the Delaware County 911 Communications Center. Based on what we learned from the 2017 event, there's a good possibility of communication disruptions with mobile networks experiencing a sudden surge in data usage. We could see 911 outages or long wait times. This is another reason everyone should be extra careful during the event. We urge everyone to have patience during this event. Hi, I'm Delaware County Chief Information Officer Kyle Johnson. In preparation for this event, we have identified areas of potential congestion in the county. Areas that will likely be impacted are around planned community events, such as Prairie Creek Reservoir, the County Fairgrounds, and the Academy of Model Aeronautics, as well as Minatrista and other local school campuses. In addition, the Interstate 69 corridor and state roads will likely be heavily congested, especially immediately after the eclipse. So we urge you to avoid those areas during the event if possible. We also urge you to utilize the Indiana Department of Transportation TrafficWise mobile app or visit 511in.org for live traffic conditions. Some good advice for the afternoon of the eclipse is arrive early, stay late, and stay put. 
the city of Muncie and Destination Muncie are so proud to host the total solar eclipse here in Muncie on April 8th, 2024. We are excited to share some of the magic of Magic City with the rest of the world. So what we want you to be aware of as we get ready for this event, we are expecting anywhere from 100,000 to 200,000 people to be coming into Muncie over that weekend. So we know that especially Monday and Monday evening, traffic is gonna be a little bit crazy. So we are encouraging everyone to make your plans in advance. Don't plan on driving anywhere Monday afternoon because the streets are gonna be packed and we need to keep that as clear as possible for our emergency responders, just in case they need to get to a scene to handle a situation. So please don't plan on driving anywhere. Your local neighborhood park will most likely have a watch party. If you want to talk to your neighborhood association to find out what they already have planned for that day, we'd encourage you to join your neighbors and join in the festivities that you have at your local park so that you don't have to travel anywhere on Monday the 8th. We also have a full weekend of events leading up to the eclipse on Thursday night. That will be the first Thursday in Muncie. So head downtown to enjoy some of the festivities that downtown Muncie has planned. And then on Saturday, we are kicking things off with a bunch of family activities at Minatrista Museum and Gardens. There's a special exhibit at the Children's Museum downtown. There is a brew fest and a music festival going on at Cornerstone Center for the Arts. We know you're gonna to wanna to check that out. And then we have Maker's Markets as well uh, downtown at Cannon Commons and at the fairgrounds in the Heartland Hall. So if you're a local maker or an artist and you'd like to include your art or your products in that Maker's Market, please reach out to Moth and Danner for more information on how you can get involved in that. And we also have an Orchestra Indiana concert that's gonna be happening at Minatrista. That's gonna be broadcasted through the state uh, through our friends at Ball State PBS. We know you're not gonna wanna miss that. It's gonna be a really magical concert with some pretty special music. So head down to Minatrista for that concert on Sunday evening. There will be an orchestra petting zoo as well and a lot of other activities. If you'd like the full run of activities, we have that list posted at eclipsemuncie.com, as well as information on booking sites, uh, things that are going on throughout the weekend, and generally what we can expect. Safety glasses will be available for purchase at different locations. Uh, Ball State is also providing some glasses, as well as Muncie Libraries, and a couple of our other uh, partners in this event. So make sure you do have your safety glasses so that you can watch the eclipse safely. Hi, I'm Dr. Jeremy Gard, and I'm just here to speak on a few things about eye safety in terms of uh, the upcoming solar eclipse. Uh, it is never safe to view an eclipse unless it is in its totality. In Muncie on April 8th, we will have a totality starting approximately after three o'clock and it will last about three and a half minutes. You will know a totality when you don't see any of the sun peering out outside of the moon that's covering it. At that time, it, it would be safe to remove any protective eyewear and look at the sun for that small amount of time until the sun is even partially visible again. Now, safety eyewear includes the, the eyewear approved by the International Organization of Standards. Uh, you'll know by the proper code the ISO 12312-2. Reputable vendors selling with those codes uh, have approved eyewear for viewing the eclipse in any form. You'll know if your eyewear is proper as it will only allow penetration through the eyewear by sunlight level light. You'll see no other ambient light within a room. So you should be able to test your eyewear. We can also view the eclipse through indirect means. So if you have a colander or something with small holes with your back to the sun, you can project the eclipse through those small holes onto the ground or onto a piece of paper. You can view the moon as it moves in front of the sun in its eclipse stages through the pinholes onto the projected background. Viewing the sun in an unprotected manner could cause minor damage to the eye including sunburns to the cornea, known as photokeratopathy, and it could also cause permanent eye damage, known as solar retinopathy. Do not view the sun in an unprotected state at any time during the eclipse or even outside the eclipse unless the eclipse is in its totality. 
Individuals who are susceptible to damage from the sun include young children and individuals who have had cataract surgery. Make sure that while we enjoy the eclipse that weekend, that you're mindful of those around you and that they're also practicing proper safety wear. A total eclipse is a rare occurrence in this part of the country. The last happened in 1800 and it's not expected to happen again until almost 2100. So we hope you enjoy this once in a lifetime viewing opportunity safely. Thank you. Here's a few quotes to keep in mind. When you pack for your trip, include a five gallon bucket of patience. A little patience goes a long way to help keep safe. In this case, a little might not be enough. So plan to have a bucket full that day. This is like the Super Bowl, but without a stadium. It is likely that a large number of people will be in our area. So expect it to be just like a large sporting event and what happens when the game is over, except everywhere in our communities. Lastly, we urge everyone to be extra safe on April 8th. Use common sense and enjoy this rare event. Thank you.